everyone. I'm Randy Zuckerberg. We're just minutes away from the town hall at Facebook with President Barack Obama. I'm joined by my colleague Andrew Noyes and Jeremy Stoppelman from Yelp. Um, and we're we're really excited that we're, this is the last interview that you'll hear from us before we cut directly over to the president. But I'm thrilled. Yelp is one of my most favorite sites to go to. And uh, a big theme of the day today is innovation and entrepreneurship. So maybe you can just tell everyone briefly for the two people out there who don't know what Yelp is, uh, what, what's, what you guys are doing. Well, Yelp started here uh, in the Bay Area, specifically in San Francisco, back in 2004. And people all over the US can write reviews of their favorite local businesses. And then those reviews are searchable. So if you need a haircut, you need to find the best restaurant in town, you want to go to a local watering hole, you just type that into Yelp, and you're going to find the best answer. It's word of mouth online. And now, what about this area uh, inspired you to start the company here? You know, the Bay Area is just this incredible magnet of both mm -hmm. talent and, you know, backing, financial backing. And so it just, all the entrepreneurs, I think, all over the world gravitate towards uh, this, this locale, this geography, and so many incredible companies end up, you know, getting grown here or formed here. I mean, in Facebook's case, I guess it was born out of, you know, Cambridge, Boston, but then very quickly found its way to Silicon Valley because there's just so much support structure out here. It's a very special place. For sure. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, not, not, not to take attention, attention away from Silicon Valley, but I think one thing that, that we've been talking a lot about, I'm based in the DC office at Facebook, and, and we talk a lot inside the Beltway with, with policymakers about how innovation obviously um, starts here a lot of times, but it also starts all over all over the country. Mm -hmm. We um, actually, uh, so Mark Zuckerberg, our, our, uh, our CEO, uh, was just recently in Utah, in Provo, Utah. He sat down um, for a town hall with Senator Orrin Hatch, and when we were researching for that event, we found a number of innovators in Utah. And I feel like, you know, there are pockets of this innovation all over the country. Do you have any yeah. thoughts on that? I mean, that's one of the most exciting things about the internet, is just the cost of starting a business has dropped dramatically. If you go back to 2099, sort of the first wave of the internet, it could cost literally millions of dollars just to get started. You had to buy servers that were really expensive. You had to get Oracle licenses. Now all of that equipment has been commoditized. You can really start a company for just fifty, a hundred thousand dollars and get going. So it's it's created this incredible ecosystem that's here in the valley, extremely vibrant. But then now you're seeing it pop up in Chicago and Utah and Boston, everywhere. It's very exciting, and I think it's good for America. Now you're seeing small businesses all over the country. I think really rely on Yelp as a both a, a lead into their business, but also um, the customer reviews and seeing that. Um, you know, on behalf of all those small businesses, what, are, what do you hope will be covered today in the town hall? You know, I think one of the key things is dropping the barriers required to start a business, to run a business. Like if you go to, to my town, San Francisco, there's all sorts of costs baked in to starting a business. Healthcare is a real serious burden. So anything the government can do to make it easier to, to have that, to, to sort of set up shop, put out your sign, to hire employees, like there's so much paperwork yeah. involved in just hiring a single employee. What Sorry. if you could just have somebody walk in, maybe get, show you their ID, and then they're hired and you're done? That would be incredible. I think a lot of jobs would be created if you could remove some of those barriers. Absolutely. I think it'll be interesting to see um, what are your thoughts on, on what Obama is going to be discussing today and how it relates. Yeah, well, I, I think that we're going to see a lot of things. And obviously, it's anyone's guess what kind of questions will come in from mm -hmm. the Facebook Live audience. But I think we're going to see the president talk about the economy, certainly innovation. He's going to talk about fiscal responsibility and the budget. Mm -hmm. Maybe he'll touch on health care. Mm -hmm. So again, anyone's guess, people are, are submitting their questions online. They have been up until today. And they can continue to submit their questions through the Facebook Live Ask a Question button as the event happens. So it'll be really exciting and to now see it play out. And if you had to recommend, you know, obviously Obama is on a tight schedule while he's here. <laughs> but if you had to re recommend a few of the most popular small businesses on Yelp for him to uh, visit while he's here, what would you say? I would suggest, yeah, there's a great restaurant right in my neighborhood called Spruce that so he could stop on by and then maybe, maybe he could knock on my door and say hello and I could show him around my place. That'd be exactly. fun. Exactly, maybe you guys could have Yeah, we together. could have a beer or something. It'd be fantastic. It's awesome. Well, it's so great to have you here. Um, you're definitely one of the major innovators in the Valley. Um, 
it's been exciting for me to see how Yelp has just become a verb that people use to go Yelp something, and it's incredible what you've done for the small business community as well. Well, thank you so much for having me. This is a really exciting event. I can feel the energy in the crowd, so I can't wait to see what, what Barack Obama yeah. has yeah, to you say. You can hear the crowd right over my I right know. shoulder. They're getting yeah, really, the really is, rowdy. It's, it's great. So <laughs> we want to make sure you have enough time to get back to your seat before the main event Clock's starts. Thank but you. thank you so much, Jeremy, for joining us. I hope you enjoy the town hall, and I look forward to seeing what you think of it later. Thanks. Great. So we're going to do one more cut over to the main room, and then Andrew and I will be back right before the president goes on stage. Thanks so much.